Hey guys, how's it going? This is Xpodex, and in this video, I want to show you guys how to use MSI Afterburner to overclock your graphics card just a little bit. So there's an OC option right here. It's a one button click and it'll scan the graphics card. And instead of getting like 1873 on my card or 1886, it'll actually get 1936. So it's a slight improvement and it, it scans your graphics card and applies it and then you're good to go. A You set a nice um, fan curve. I'll show you my settings real quick. So the, um, the interface, this little interface is in user interface and this is the, uh, the name of it right here. Fit focus, there you go. So, um, and then let's go, let's go fan curve, all right? So fan and then enable, sorry, enable uh, def user defined. And uh, here's my fan curve and you can see it changes um, on these little like jumps, you know? And um, you know, this is the temperature and this is the fan, actual uh, fan usage right here. And then you just force it and then you can apply and then okay. Um, so, I'm showing you uh, in Furmark. This is 1080p at um, 8x MSAA. Those are the frames, 69, nice, to 71, 68 to 71 or so, at 1873, at 99% usage. So, I'm going to uh, close Furmark and uh, run the overclock and uh, the little, you know, OC button and uh, automatically overclock it just a little bit and you get to see the FPS change. All right guys, it's finally done. Took about 32 minutes. Yeah, 32 minutes and 40 seconds. Your um, results may vary the amount of time. Um, but yeah, it came out with, um, I'll just show you real quick. So it came out with uh, average core clock uh, 120 um, and then the memory at 200 megahertz. And it's saying results are considered unstable, but um, as you can see, I'm running Furmark and uh, there's no like weird flickering on anything and it's only a very slight increase in core clock. You know what I mean, in memory clock. So um, it's just, it might just say that. Um, I don't know if it's actual true, just to let you guys know. But um, so before the test was 68, to 70 and it was mostly in the 69 nice you know what i mean so right now though i saw 70 i don't know if i saw 69 nice um but i did see 71 to 73 at 1949 so temperatures rose a little bit um obviously but not too much and um you know i gained two to three fps um yeah so just with a little one button click. It's MSI Afterburner and I think they're going like pretty light with their overclock, you know? Like it's not being pushed too much. It's barely being pushed at all. It's just a slight, tiny bit improvement. So like I'm good with it. And um, if I do have any problems, I can just either reset my drivers completely so it's like a new device and make sure everything's good, just start fresh. Or I can just go back to like default settings and call it good you know what i mean but it's up to you guys um but it is msi afterburner and i'm trusting them and just it is what it is you know what i mean i'm i'm happy with the results and uh yeah peace out guys